our students climate related questions and a detailed explanation in this video we are going to touch some points about climate issues so don't forget to subscribe share like and comment this video a come here to baratot mega kesani baratot arras video kanan dba gara kesani tidu fer video kanan matre climate je du wajin gafle wal kabatan ibsa balla wajin isni kabat de ya der senis video kun viral ya kabu daf share like subscribe fi comment ko chu ndagatina ndemna chu tamari salam na chu zare bazi video tamalishe meta challenge Bazi video mena yo sala climate yihona ye video bari al ndiwata share like subscribe comment madragen atizanagu question number 1 despite of her tropical location ethiopia is known with the diversified ecological zone this is due to the effect of a altitude b ocean currents c latitude d proximity to the red sea Ethiopia is a landlocked country so ocean current has minor influence on climate of Ethiopia as a result b is not the correct answer altitude is the correct answer because ethiopia's varied topography modifies the tropical climate there is ethiopia is known as the roof of east africa due to her highlands so this highland modifies the tropical climate of the country as a result a is the correct answer question number 2 which climate type is represented by af in Köppen's climate classification system a desert b tropical rainforest c steep d mediterranean tropical rainforest is represented by a f in Köppen climate classification system this reveals the humid tropical areas no dry season and high rainfall year round so b is the correct answer here desert is represented by capital b capital w while steep is represented by capital b capital s and Mediterranean climate is represented by capital C and the small s. So the correct answer as I have said is B. Question number 3. The Köppen climate classification system is primarily based on A air pressure and the winds. B temperature and the precipitation. C vegetation zone only. D latitude allan pressure or wind is the important in Köppen climate classification but is not the classification base vegetation is used later for the validation so it is not the primary one As a result, C is not the answer. Latitude explains a partial climate in Köppen climate classification. So the correct answer is B. Köppen used long-term average temperature and the rainfall patterns. Question number four: Moscow's climate belongs to which Köppen climate classification? A capital c small s small a b capital d small f small b c capital a small f d capital e capital t
Good. Capital C, small s, small a, represents Mediterranean climate. So is not the answer. Capital A, small f, represents equatorial or tropical areas rainfall. So is not the correct answer again. Capital E, capital G, represents tundra. As a result, D is also not. So the correct answer is B. Capital D, small f, small b, or humid continental, warm summer. This is cold during winter, warm during summer, and rainfall year-round. From Russia, Moscow is the well-known with the climate classification of Copen with D capital, f small, b small. Question number five. Which factor mainly distinguishes? The climate classification of Copen represented by capital C and uh, capital D climate. A. Rainfall. B. Vegetation cover. C. Severity of winters. D. Latitude lines. Good. Severity of winter distinguishes the climate of capital C and capital D. D represents colder winter than C. C is the correct answer. Question number six. Which region experiences Mediterranean climate? A. California coast. B. Amazon basin. C. Central Africa. D. Himalayas. Here, Amazon is a rainforest climate region, and also Central Africa is equatorial. Himalayas are highland climate types. Countries like California, Chile, and the South Europe are categorized to the Mediterranean climate. Question number seven. Which is the most fundamental factor influencing world climate? A. Latitude. B. Population density. C. Soil type. D. Religion. Latitude determines solar radiation distribution. So, the correct answer is A. Question number 8. Why do deserts often form along 30 degree north and 30 degree south latitudes? A. Due to the descending dry air in subtropical high pressure zones. B. Due to the lack of mountains. C. Due to the tectonic plate activity. D. Due to the ocean salinity. Good. In fact, around 30 degree north and south, the air cools and sinks back down. This is going to create high pressure zone, which is known as subtropical highs. And also, the sinking air is becomes dry because the moisture condensed and rained out near the equator. As a result, dry sinking air Results for clear skies, high evaporation, and a little rainfall. Due to this, deserts are becomes formed. A is the correct answer. The descending dry air in subtropical high pressure zone is the major factor for the formation of deserts in 30 degree north and south of latitudes. Channel Ikeesan, Geolesson 17, TUB Wanda, Watanif, Galatoma. Geolesson 17 tube, channel achun, selegobanya chu, amasagnal. Geolesson 17 tube, channel milkomine egeret alotaf im.